Hey guys, so today you're gonna learn my proven method to build a business that earns passive income. I call it the NATO system. And the NATO system helps you make money even while you sleep. And after making all that money in your sleep, you can sell your business for 300% of your yearly earnings. Watch this video until the end because I'm gonna share with you one of my businesses that makes over $20,000 per month and how it's valued at over $741,000. Now before you start to think that this video is just like all the others, let me tell you something. I was in your same position. I got started nine years ago and spent so much time researching on the internet, on YouTube, and I've watched pretty much every single passive income video out there. Making passive income is easy. All you need are rich parents, a fat bank account, and a massive following on YouTube. As of today, I've got 10,000 followers, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have 10,000 plus one. But that's why I decided to create this video. It's for everybody out there who wants to learn how to make a passive income business that doesn't rely on everything everybody else is talking about. The strategies I'm gonna be discussing have been working for me for the past nine years. As a quick side note, I do have over 700,000 followers on Instagram, but I'm not talking about how to make money on Instagram and the business that I've been doing for the past nine years has nothing to do with Instagram. I'll also tell you that what I'm gonna be talking about today has nothing to do with getting a loan to buy real estate, owning stocks and bonds, selling eBooks, doing Amazon FBA, or any other sort of social media tricks. I've been making six figures the past 11 years creating affiliate marketing blogs. Now, before we talk about affiliate marketing, I just wanna welcome you. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you never miss any of my amazing life hacks that help you make your life awesome. So now let's get started. What is affiliate marketing? So affiliate marketing in the most basic sense is referral marketing. So what that means is, I'll give you a quick example. Down below, I've got a link to sign up for Bluehost. Bluehost is a web service company that helps host websites. This is a company I used back 11 years ago when I started my first blog. And basically, if you go and use my sign up link and sign up for Bluehost, it costs about $3.95 per month for hosting, plus you get a free domain. If you sign up for Bluehost, I'm gonna get an $85 commission. And basically, the way it works is I'm referring people to Bluehost, Bluehost makes money, they pay me a referral commission fee. And this is how affiliate marketing works. It doesn't have to be that you're buying something, it could be that you're generating a lead. So for instance, if you've ever seen a TV commercial where it says, have you been injured by mesothelioma or got a knee or back brace problem, call this number for help. If somebody calls that number, the person running the advertisement makes money. And the secret behind those ads is the person running it is not the lawyer or doctor or Medicare company that actually wants you to sign up. It's a third party company that's doing affiliate marketing. Basically what they're doing is they're getting a number of people to call all about mesothelioma. And then once they get those leads, they're selling those leads to a bunch of different mesothelioma lawyers all across the country. That's affiliate marketing. You see it every day and probably don't realize it's going on, it's happening in the background. But I'm gonna teach you guys how you can use affiliate marketing to make passive income and make money while you sleep. So now that we know what affiliate marketing is, let's talk about how you can actually make money with a blog built around affiliate marketing. Okay, so to figure out how to make money from affiliate marketing, the best place to start is to find a source where people are making money with affiliate marketing and then selling those sites. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna walk through latonas.com. These guys have been around for about 11 years now and they've been the first people on the market selling websites. So let's check out, we're looking for a content site do a search because content site basically means blog so I have one pulled up I want to show you guys it's this one okay so this is a stand-up paddleboard and gear review affiliate site looks like the annual revenue is a hundred twenty six thousand and the asking price is four hundred twenty five thousand so that's selling at a 3.37 multiplier that means if, they're, if they sell the site, they're not gonna have to work for another three and a half years just based on building up this business. This is a tremendous amount of value and this is why affiliate marketing in my NATO system is so much better than everything else that's out there. Okay, so the reason I'm walking you through this paddleboard affiliate site is just to give you an idea how to actually build a business around affiliate marketing. The products themselves don't have to be stand-up paddle boards. It doesn't have to be stuff on Amazon. Take a look at this beautiful picture of my wife and I from our wedding. We got this hanged up using Handy. And Handy is an on-demand handyman service. Amazon also has a service 
and there's a lot of other local pros in our area. I could build a business around handyman services and sell leads for that business and create a whole NATO system around that. What I want you guys to do is the next time you come across a service or a business that you love and you think you can build the NATO system around, jot it down in your notes and think about it. Think about it in the shower, think about it as you're walking to work, and that's the way to truly start becoming an entrepreneur and building a business. So many other YouTubers talk about how to make passive income by sending DMs on Instagram or by selling eBooks or doing any sort of stuff like that. But what they're missing is the businesses they're creating and helping you guys create aren't as easy to turn it into 3.3x 3 multiple. And that's where the true value comes in. If you can sell a business three times the amount of money you make every year, there's so much more you can do with that money and there's so much farther you can go. You can build one business, sell it, use those proceeds to build another, sell that one, and it just builds and builds and builds on top of itself. And that's how you truly create life-changing wealth. But let's just look at this business here and break down how they're actually doing this. How are they making $126 and how are they getting this massive multiple? So to do this, I'm gonna do a quick Google search here for stand-up paddleboard reviews. And although the listing doesn't tell me the name of the website, I'm just gonna go based on one of these top guys here. So the subboardguide.com. So I don't know if this is the exact website, but this is the type of site that you're gonna see. This is an affiliate marketing blog built around paddleboard reviews. So essentially we've got the best inflatable sub here. And then you can see each of these different reviews here for each of the different paddle boards. You can see ones here at Amazon for $6.49, another for $4.65. And basically if I click over to Amazon at $4.65, it's actually $4.95 now, and then end up buying this, they're gonna get paid an Amazon commission of around maybe one to 3%. So that could be anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks. And basically what they do is they do a ton of reviews so that whenever somebody is searching for, you know, this particular product, the Gilly 10 foot by six inflatable stand up paddle board, they're gonna be one of the first results in Google or they're advertising their reviews on YouTube or in Google search results so that they show up and they make money anytime, anytime somebody buys one of these paddle boards. So remember, affiliate marketing is if you're referring someone to buy a product or service as the middleman for providing that referral, you're going to get that commission fee. And that's what you want to build your business around. So the way these guys do it is they've got all sorts of regular reviews. We can check out the review here, the pros, the cons. They have all these different prices, the specs. They have a video review. They show performance. And basically what they're doing is they're dedicating themselves to creating the best paddleboard review website. And that's kind of how the NATO system works, is you dedicate yourself to a specific niche and then figure out how to dominate that niche and create a true business around that. Not just a flash in the pan, driving to a landing page and that's it, but a true business, which is what this looks like. So when you see this website, as somebody looking from the outside looking to purchase it, this looks like a fully encompassed website that doesn't need any additional work. It's already set up and running and you continue to grow it. Okay, so now that you've seen how affiliate marketing works, how affiliate marketing blogs can be worth over $400,000 and make 3.3X of their yearly earnings, let's talk about the NATO system and how it breaks down and how you can build your own site step by step by step. So first of all, the NATO system breaks down into five different components. One, you have to find your niche. Two, you have to find an affiliate product that you can sell within that niche. Three, you need to drive traffic to that site. Four, you need to optimize that traffic so that you're spending less than you're making. And five, you need to sell that property and set it up for sale so you can get 3.3X on that return. And this whole system is built around creating an asset, a true business that outside investors are gonna see and wanna invest into, and that allows you to justify that 3.3X. When you're building this system, you wanna make it as scalable as possible, which basically means that you can remove yourself and the business keeps running without you every day making money. Now, if you wanna get started on building your own blog and getting everything set up, I'm putting a link down below. It's a link to Bluehost. It's only $3.95 and it helps you set up your own domain and get your web hosting set up. I'm also gonna be sharing with you a link at the end that's step-by-step -step how to set up your blog on Bluehost. So to kick things off, let's talk about the Ananados how to find a great niche. So a niche can really be anything. It doesn't have to be paddle boards. It doesn't have to be mesothelioma. The best niches are finding a new and emerging product and building a business around that. So here are some examples of previous niches that I've seen over the past three or four years that have really dominated and I've seen giant sales. So one is mattress reviews. 
So if you've seen Casper or Nectar or Lisa or any of these mattress companies, they really exploded onto the scene about three or four years ago. The guys who dominated created mattress review sites four years ago when this big trend was happening, dominated the market and then sold their sites for millions of dollars. One guy actually sold it to Casper, which is kind of a crazy sort of odd dynamic. What really happens is when you're referring a ton of customers to Casper or to any lead buyer, Eventually they see that and recognize, hey, if we own this website, we could cut down on our marketing costs. And as a website owner, I'm like, great. You know, I can sell this off and I can start another site. Other great um, niches I've seen recently are like gig review sites. So Uber, Lyft, Postmates, Fresh Direct, all this sort of stuff where people are going out and delivering and making money as a side hustle, side gig. Reviewing these websites and referring customers to Uber or Lyft, if you refer a driver there, you get like 35 bucks a piece. And there are all these other gig economy um, companies out there. And if you build, the guys that built the review websites are dominating that. Again, it's probably too late, but you know, there's always time to get into the, into the marketplace. Um, another great one was subscription box reviews. When these first came out, people were loving it. They were signing up for Birchbox and Bespoke Post and all these different sort of subscriptions. And the people who started the review sites were crushing it. Today, obviously it's getting a little more saturated on those niches. And that's where it's up to you to figure out you know, what are your friends and family talking about? What are the new companies and services they're trying out? And this is where you build your niche affiliate marketing business around. So some things I thought just off the top of my head, one is Fortnite. Fortnite is the biggest search term on YouTube, largest game in the world. Building anything around Fortnite now may be even a little too late, but it's a huge niche. There's still a ton of opportunity to monetize it. The second is electric scooters, Lime Bird, all this sort of stuff. Getting a review website similar to that stand-up paddleboard, for like scooters is another excellent opportunity. Also fitness apps, there are a ton of fitness apps out there as well as a ton of fitness classes. SoulCycle, ClassPass, Session. My wife is all over all these fitness classes and she's always wondering, how do I know which one is the best one? Creating a review affiliate site around that is an excellent opportunity. A cool way to look for new um, niche opportunities is to go into the um, iOS app store. So I'm scrolling through the app store and I found this fitness app, you know, they charge a subscription for it. iTunes has an affiliate program. Sometimes individual apps themselves have affiliate programs. So check out in the app store, see if you see an app that's trending that you're you know, interested in and build an affiliate website around that. If we move to the second step in NATO's affiliate, how to find the right affiliate product. So this kind of goes hand in hand with building out your niche. But what I like to do is I try to find a product that I really love in my niche and then build a website, reverse it, engineer it around that. So if we're looking at the paddleboard example, if I go on Amazon and I see there's one paddleboard that's gotten five stars and 5,000 reviews, and it seems like it's the best product out there, I'm gonna build my website based on this one product. That's gonna be my first affiliate product I create, and that's what my website is gonna be built around. I'll know that anytime somebody goes to buy this, goes to even read my review and view this paddleboard, they're probably gonna buy because it's so amazing. And that's what you wanna do with your affiliate product is, when you figure out your niche, you next need to research where can I find products or services or leads where once I've handed off from my website to them, they're gonna do the conversion for me. Because that's a really important aspect of running an affiliate marketing blog is since you're not actually selling anything, the people you partner with and the people that you send your traffic to you need to rely on them to convert that traffic so they buy or sign up or do whatever they need to do. Because the more you believe in the product and you know how good it is, the higher your conversion rates are gonna be, the more money you can make, all that sort of stuff. So now that we know what our niche is, our affiliate products, let's talk about driving traffic. And how do we drive the best traffic or what is traffic? How do we drive the best traffic to our affiliate marketing blog? So there are a ton of ways to drive traffic, but before I get started, let me just tell you what driving traffic actually means. So driving traffic means buying advertisements on the web and bringing someone from Facebook, Google, YouTube to your website. So whenever you see an ad on Facebook or YouTube and you click on that ad, the advertiser is either paying on a CPM, so basically for you to see that ad, or on a CPC. So every time you click on that ad, it's charging the advertiser anywhere from 25 cents up to five or $10 when we're talking about giant mesothelioma leads that are worth a ton of money. So essentially driving traffic is taking someone from one website and bringing them to yours. And the ways you can do that are, you know, advertising on YouTube, advertising on social media, advertising on an existing mailing list you might have, doing word of mouth marketing, or doing any sort of Google or Facebook ads. So the main thing is we need to spend less than we're making. 
you know, we could drive a million website, million hits to our website, but if it's costing us a million dollars and we're only making half a million, it's obviously a losing equation. Okay, now let's go back to the paddleboard example to show you an example of how to drive traffic and how it all works. So we're on Google here. I search for paddleboard reviews. We can see this text ad. So when I click on this text ad, the advertiser is gonna get charged anywhere from 25 cents up to a dollar, maybe $2. It depends on how, how much competition there is in the market. So then their goal is for me to read these reviews and then buy one of these products. So interestingly, they sort it from lowest price to highest price. Although here's one right here, 845. This is the first one. This should be their top converting offer. Because what you want to do when you're driving traffic to the site, which I'm going to get into on the next step, is you really want to optimize that traffic so that if you're spending 50 cents to get me here, that 50 cents is going to convert into a lead or convert into a purchase in this case. So basically we click on this. This is going to lead us to the review. They have like a little chat box to help convert me to buy this. And basically, you know, their hope is I add on these pluses, I add to cart and I buy this product. So that's driving traffic from Google to the website. And when we think about that simple text ad that we clicked on on Google, Google's one of the richest companies in the world simply based on that text ad. Because what they're doing is they're matching question with answer. I asked, what are the best stand-up paddle boards? And Google is answering that question with a list of the top paddle boards in the world. That simple text ad has made them a multi-billion dollar company. It's just amazing to think about, you know, when you look at everything that's going on on the web, all these amazing things they're doing with YouTube and video and games and all that sort of stuff, this simple little line of text is making them billions. Okay, so now that we know how traffic is driven, let's talk about how to optimize the traffic. So optimizing traffic is all about making our earnings per lead greater than our cost per lead. So in the example of the paddleboard, if they're making $25 per purchase of a paddleboard, they need to make sure their cost per lead is obviously under that $25 mark, but more likely in the $10 to $15 range. When you're spending money on advertising, typically you only wanna spend 33% on that advertising. So if they're making 25 bucks, that means basically they've got about eight bucks to spend on advertising. So if they're getting 50 cents a click and it costs eight bucks, it means they can only have 16 clicks before they make a conversion. And this is all about optimizing traffic. So if we talk about one out of 16 clicks making a conversion, we're looking at a 6% conversion rate. Now, hopefully this isn't going all over your head. If it is, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to walk through how conversion optimization works, the ins and outs, all that sort of stuff. Let's talk about ways we can optimize our conversion. So one, we can optimize conversions by making our landing page better. Just looking at their landing page, they had over 36 different paddle boards, which to me is, that tells me is it's a paradox of choice. Sometimes too many choices are confuse the consumer and end up don't, not buying anything. So an ideal situation is they're gonna have the top three or top five paddle boards on that landing page, one for each price point, or one for a specific type of, you know, if you're doing river paddle board, ocean paddle board, depending on the type of customer. Those are ways we can optimize the landing page and it's gonna increase our conversion rate and drive down our costs. Second, we can create better ads. So if I'm searching for best ocean paddle board, and their advertisement says best river paddle board, I'm not gonna click on that ad and it's gonna cost them more because that ad's getting shown to people who aren't interested. So part of optimization is constantly creating better and better ads that better target your customer and match up what their question is with the answer. Please remember Google and every other advertising medium is they have a question, you wanna create that answer for them. Another thing we can do is when we're advertising on Google or Facebook or anywhere, the way we're targeting the customer is using either keywords or source targeting or remarketing. What we can do is refine in on what are the keywords or sources that are working better and increasing our bids. And then what are the sources that aren't working as well and lowering the bids. This is just a continual optimization that you can only do once you've run traffic and seen if we're looking at an overall 6% conversion rate, Anything above 6%, we raise our price. Anything below, we lower it. The other way we can optimize our traffic is by reducing our CPC. So we reduce CPC by creating better ads so they're get, gonna get a higher click-through rate, which means the more people see them, the more likely they're gonna click on it. And also by better targeting our audience. Sometimes when you're running an ad and you're targeting 18 to 65, that demographic is gonna behave differently and gonna wanna see different ads and different landing pages. So sometimes if we optimize our ads just for women or just for men or just for certain age groups, we can hone in on exactly who's buying our product and it lowers our overall cost. And finally, we can optimize our conversions by blocking traffic sources that aren't converting at all. 
So this especially applies to Google. Google uses keyword matching and basically trying to find related keywords to the ones that you're targeting. So for instance, if I said free stand-up paddleboard and some of these ads shows up where it's an ad to buy it, that's gonna be somebody who definitely doesn't wanna buy the paddleboard. So what you can do is go into your keyword search term matches and put in negative keywords. Words like free or used are big signifiers that they're not gonna buy a new expensive paddleboard. So these are the keywords that we can block, which are gonna bring down our overall costs and increase our overall conversion rate. So now that we talked about how to find our niche, find our affiliate product, drive traffic, and optimize our conversions. What we've really built here is a business entity. And the great thing about the NATO system is it helps you make money even while you sleep. It's selling products, and we've created a business that we can sell. Now let's talk about how to actually sell the business and get it set up for sale. So we've already shown you how to go on Latona's, find businesses for sale. You can see how they're selling their business for 3.3x. And I wanna give you a couple tips on how you can actually sell your business for, for the highest multiple. So the number one rule is, you need your business to be around longer. The longer a business has been around, the more proof there is that the revenue is there to stay and this isn't a flash in the pan. So typically, if you wanna sell your business for 3X, the business needs to be around for more than three years. It kind of goes without saying that if it's been around three years, there's been up years, down years, or maybe they're all up, but basically it's consistent performance that the buyer is gonna know, all right, it's been making money for three years, it's gonna to continue to make money for the rest of the three years. Also, when you're deciding to sell the business, the time to sell is when the business is doing its best. So when you're selling your business, they don't look at last year's numbers, they look at the trailing 12 months. So right now it's, it's May, so that means how does my business look from 2018 May to 2019 May. So when you're getting your business set up to be sold, you wanna maximize what you're doing right now so you're selling it at its peak. This is also gonna save you a ton of headaches when you know things do go wrong and if revenue starts to drop, at least you have some great previous momentum going and it just allows you to make the selling process so much more smooth, the buyer's happier, everyone's happier. And the final tip is when you're building this business, what you wanna do is make it as scalable as possible. So what I mean by that is you need to hire people to help you run the business. I run the business myself. I have a ton of people on Upwork and all these other 1099 who could come in and help me run aspects of email, display, setting up offers, setting up ads, all these other side projects, but basically you can sort of remove me from the business and everything's just gonna run like clockwork. So what you wanna do is, once you learn how to do something, you wanna hire somebody, do that work for you. So you're not twirling every day, working 40, 50 hours a week. I work maybe one to three hours a day, checking on things, building things, optimizing things. But for the most part, I'm not working in the business, I'm working on the business. And when you work on the business, that's how you sell your business for 3X. Okay, so now we've gotten to the point where I'm gonna talk about my business, I'm gonna open up my books, I'm gonna share with you how I make over $20,000 a month from just three revenue sources. So the first one I'm checking out here, it's showing I make 300, 370, 368, 165, 145, for a total of $7,900 in April. The next one we're looking at here, monthly earnings are $3,600. I've got all these different traffic sources. And just looking at these traffic sources, this is how you optimize the traffic. If you look at individual EPCs or the amount of money I'm making per click here, you can see some are higher and some are lower. For the sources where I make more earnings per click, I can pay more for those advertising sources. And also for anything I'm making less on, I can reduce the price I pay on those. And let me show you another source here. So these are all the leads I'm driving. You can see one of them, the total down here is $9,100. And there are just a ton of leads, a ton of different volume, a ton of different offers. So I'll tell you this, making 20K plus per month is not easy. These are just three of my revenue sources. I've got over 15 or 20 different revenue sources. And based on these revenue sources plus everything else I'm doing, I spoke to a broker recently and they valued my business at $741,407. They say it's 3X return because I've been running this business since 2013. So there's plenty of history in the business that they know they're gonna keep making money when they sell this business. Plus the fact that I'm only working one to three hours a day and everything is completely scaled, it means the buyer knows when they take it over, it's gonna be easy for them to run it and grow it if they invest 40 hours, 50 hours a week. And that's how you get that amazing 3X return. So now that you've seen the NATO system and how it's helped me build a business that makes over 20K a month, I want you to think about what would your life be like if you could work anywhere at any time and be your own boss? I've been doing this for the past 11 years and my life couldn't be better. Sure, there are ups and downs of businesses sometimes, 
have hiccups, sometimes things break, sometimes they don't, but I know that every day I'm waking up and building towards my future. I'm building business entities that I can sell for 3X, and I get to decide when I go on vacation, when I work. More often than not, I'm working a lot, but I love what I'm doing because I know it's investing to our future. We're building something together. So now I wanna turn it over to you guys. When I got started 11 years ago, I didn't have a mentor. Nobody was there to help me hold my hand, get the blog started, figure out the niche, figure out affiliate, figure out traffic, figure out optimization, or figure out how to sell a business. I wanna be that resource for you. So down in the comments, let me know what you need help with. Do you need help finding a niche, finding affiliate products with traffic, optimization, with sales? anything like that leave it down in the comments i reply to every single comment and since you've made it to the end of the video i know you're motivated you're ready to get started building your own business i want you to check out the link here it's a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how to start your own blog so it's got my bluehost affiliate link in there and hopefully you pay it forward and use my link if you do decide to sign up and of course if you learned anything make sure to subscribe to my channel. We have new videos every Monday and follow me on Instagram. If you're interested to know what is it like for somebody who owns their own business and can travel, pretty much do anything they want, we put everything up on Instagram at Life Tailored. All right guys, check us out next Monday and keep watching.